Uh, I hope to be able to become a PLC integrator. And basically what that means is I will be in charge of programming and troubleshooting machines like this um, in factories and in the industrial setting, which is a lot of fun for me. I, I really get a kick out of solving puzzles and that's kind of what this is. It's all just a big puzzle. You gotta figure out what's wrong, gotta figure out where the pieces fit. The world has changed, technology has taken over, and we need a smarter workforce. And so those that are able to work on in the industry, they really need to know how to use computers to program because most of the machinery now is robotic and there takes a certain skill set to work with robotics in these days. Uh, as far as PLCs, programmable logic controllers, um, to be able to, um, for lack of better terms, you build it, we'll make it move. This role is more uh, multidisciplinary than I ever thought it would be. I, I'm not always writing programs. I'm not always wiring cabinets. I'm, I'm not always uh, attending to hot issues and trying to get a certain process back up. The PLC job is a critical part of how we run. It has to do with continuous feeding, continuous discharging, continuous uh, operations so we don't go down. But the first thing we do look at, if it's not broken mechanically, we look at electrical and PLC. So they go in and troubleshoot and say, okay, this piece of machinery is running, it shows it's running, can you see it running on your end? And then we start troubleshooting from that point. Generally, if we see it's not a mechanical issue, that's very obvious. And it's not a race. And I always tell my students, it's not about who gets finished first, it's about how we complete it and if we complete it correctly the first time. Because if you're in the industry and you are working on a piece of equipment troubleshooting and you take shortcuts, a lot of times you make mistakes. And so you cause more downtime by rushing than if you would have took your time in the beginning and looked at the problem and think is my main goal. I ask all my students, what's the first rule of safety? It's to think. And so that's what troubleshooting as well too. If you think before you start, you always have a good outcome. We look for them to have electrical experience, industrial electrical experience. They don't necessarily have to have PLC experience. We have a uh, some on-the-job training for that. Um, Jackson came to us from uh, USC with an uh, electrical engineering degree. Didn't have any PLC background, but he came on board and he's learning it as he goes and he's doing very well. So it's kind of, we're looking for some kind of background in electrical engineering or, or, or equal um, experience. The two courses that I, that I have right now that work hand in hand are PLCs and motors and controls. So I can use a program in PLC for my motors and controls class. And so it, it shows me how, how everything works. Um, in motors and controls, I will push a button manually um, to make something work. But I can, I can put all of that, everything that I do manually in my motors and controls classes, I can put that into a program in my PLC class and do the exact same thing just by hitting one button, I can do everything um, that I do manually. And so, so that to me is pretty cool. Getting called in in the morning uh, or late at night is on the surface, not so fun, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like, oh, I gotta go in, I gotta suit up, I gotta get this fixed. Yeah, there, I don't know how to, I don't really know how to put it in the positive light that I, that I want to, because it is absolutely a trip getting to work on things that are broken and people depend on the PLC group. Because uh, when it's not a mechanical issue, it's, <laughs> it's, it's on us. Sounds simple, but to me it was really fascinating being able to program it in and see my work in action. You know, it's so fun. I, I just, I love it. <laughs>